Imagine for a moment, if you will, that you are traveling in your vehicle, you're in an urban environment, maybe on the side of the street like I am right now, and you really gotta go, and there's nothing open near you, you don't wanna move your vehicle because you don't wanna lose your spot, or whatever it is, maybe you're in a Walmart parking lot, and the Walmart has closed, and it is late, and boy oh boy, you gotta go. Nature is calling, and she is calling loud and clear. I'm gonna show you what I do to get out of such uh, tricky situations. So here we go. Trip tips. Portable folding toilet. I'm gonna show you how I put this thing together in a real hurry and exactly how I use it in the vehicle so that I have total discretion and privacy while I'm doing my business in an emergency situation. So up here underneath my center console I just have this old uh, cooler and I store a bunch of electronics and stuff and in there I keep these eight gallon garbage bags okay I'm gonna show you how I use these in combination with that toilet and of course I don't really have to go right now but I'm simulating it for your viewing pleasure so you can figure this out I'm gonna collapse my seat as such and I'm gonna reach back here and I'm gonna pull that forward now I don't have my cooler in here. I have it in the front seat, but if I did, it would still be okay. Because what I'm after, essentially, is this floor space that I've created behind the seat now, that is usually under the seat. My cooler sits right about here, but you still have enough floor space even with that. Okay, so I'll give you a better look at it there. There you go. Shelf and everything up here and that floor space is what we're gonna use. So again, it's the Trip Tips Outdoors portable folding toilet. I bought this on Amazon and like everything else, like most of my other videos, I will link this below for you. Just pull it all out of the bag. You'll see right here, that is the toilet seat itself. This is all folded up, it's accordion style. That's gonna be the frame. And this oval kind of dish, that's the base. Now you open this, You just open this up and throw your base inside until this thing here conforms to that shape. This base is gonna give it shape and structure. It's just like that, it just sits in there, no problem, easy peasy. And then all you do is take your lid and put it on top of the whole thing. And there you go, you now have a bucket with a toilet seat that you can put your plastic bag in to act as your barrier. Again, I just use eight gallon uh, garbage bags. You can double up if you feel you need to. Take the toilet seat off, okay? Throw your bag inside and just get your bag around the edges of the bucket and then put your toilet seat just like that and then put your toilet seat back on. And that's what you're looking at. You've got a nice, very sturdy bucket. You've got your bag inside and you're ready to go, quite literally. So all I'm gonna do is just hop up here on the bed, put this down. As you can see, there's lots of room. And then you just sit right on that, guys. You push that bag down in, get it against the walls if you need to. And you just get yourself ready to go to the bathroom just like you would anywhere else. If you want, you can uh, crack a window, but again, I recommend cracking the sunroof for ventilation. Also, if you have a little fan, which you know I do, and I highly recommend you have one of these, whether you're traveling in a van or minivan or SUV or whatever it is, uh, get yourself a USB or other uh, power source fan so that you can circulate some air in here while you're doing what you gotta do. The thing that I love about this whole setup is that it's so, compact you can get yourself a bucket everybody knows that um, but this thing is just there's nothing to it it folds up just push that down out of there and it, it will fold up in a way and it folds flat and there's just there's nothing to it it's just so so easy to store and it fits right back in that bag and it when it's all folded up and put away in that bag it's probably only about two inches wide and about 10 inches tall. So there you have it, you guys. 
just a quick little video to show you how I go to the bathroom when I have no other option, when I can't get to a Walmart, when everything's closed, it's late at night, I'm in an urban environment and I can't obviously just walk into the wilderness because I'm in a city or town or what have you on the, on the side of the road somewhere. And uh, this really does work for me. I've used it several times. Uh, I know, again, it's a bit of a situation that people don't like to talk about, but it's important that we do because you need to have options. Now, when you're done and you've done the thing and you've got the window cracked and you've got your fan going and you're finished, of course, you've done everything you need to do, uh, what you want to do then is take your bag, your garbage bag, maybe put it in another one, tie it tight, and exit your vehicle and find the nearest trash bin and throw it away okay don't throw it in you know a sewer or something don't throw it you know in just in nature find a trash bin that is collected by the city and throw it in the trash bin when it you know nothing's going to kind of leak out so make sure your garbage bags are, are you know strong enough and if they're not if they're thin like these ones are a little on the thin side but I just tend to double these up so double them up do what you have to do to make sure that nobody is dealing with your mess okay and then just go ahead and find a public trash bin and throw it away and that's how you do it guys that's it well that's gonna wrap it up you guys thank you so much for watching this quick little video about how I go to the bathroom when I'm in an urban environment and I have no other option uh, I hope it helps again I'm gonna link this below so you have it and uh, from me to you Happy holidays. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's plenty more SUV van life content coming your way. So I'll say it again. Happy holidays. Take care of yourselves. I hope I see you out there. Cheers.